with this really nasty behavior on Odell Beckham That's Lombardi. I mean, I think everybody realized, like, the That's face right. mask and going at him with his head like yeah. that. But you, know, you saw Norman provoking him. Norman was oh, sure. pushing him around and shoving him, I think, at some point. You see, He wasn't and, saying what a nice play that was. Yeah, yeah, no. right. <laughs> they don't no, like it. There's a lot of... I guess the question talking. is when it crosses the line, right? right? And what Tom right. Coughlin's going to do now, if stuff. anything. Mm. Well, they said that helmet to helmet's going to cost them a lot of That's money, too. That's going to cost them yeah. something. Mm. Yeah. All right, meantime, uh, weather's always free, and this one I think you're going to like for the most part today. Good, easy start to the new work week. Just more clouds out there. It won't be bright and sunny like we experienced over the weekend, but it won't be as chilly as the weekend either. Getting back to about 54 this afternoon. There will be a bit of a breeze, though, a southwest breeze. It's a warmer wind direction, but it'll keep things feeling a little bit cooler. Meantime, 51. That's it for the low tonight with a cloudy sky. It could be a couple of spotty showers overnight. Get the umbrellas ready. You're going to need them on and off, I think, from Tuesday right through Thursday, but also forget about wearing the coats by the time you get to Thursday because we could see 70 degrees oh my gosh. on Christmas Eve day. Yeah, it's crazy. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Lauren. We're going to the what beach. Do we do? Yeah, let's beach? go. <laughs> little beach day, why not? Yeah. A little tree right. decorated. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Bring Christmas tree. lights, all of that. All right, well, as far as the roads go, we have a couple of problems out there. A new one on the Newark Bay extension. This is a disabled vehicle just before you get to that bridge. Uh, so it is starting to cause delays you can see coming off the turnpike there. Then we'll take a live look outside of the Belt Parkway where things are slow going out here as well. Uh, no problems to report on, but as cars make their way westbound around the bend here by Lefferts Boulevard, they're just slowing down. So leave yourself some extra time. Okay, Lauren, thanks so much. All right, now to a commuter alert for anyone who needs to take the Verrazano Bridge today. The upper level Staten Island bound lanes of the bridge are expected to close from 8.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. for some paving work. However, one upper level lane will reopen at 10 a.m. to accommodate some of that Belt Parkway traffic. Lower level westbound lanes, though, will remain open. Six months after an explosive rocket launch, SpaceX is hoping for a success tonight. The Falcon 9 rocket was supposed to launch yesterday afternoon, but engineers decided to wait. The extra time gives the liquid oxygen more time to chill. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the delay improves the rocket success rate by 10%. The last rocket launch in June ended in an explosion. All right, the time now is 5.57. Next here at 6, the Boy Scout leader cornered and attacked by a bear in New Jersey. We're going to tell you how he made it out alive. That's next. Also at 6 a.m., the natural disaster that has rescue crews searching for nearly 100 people. What happened and what caused it next? And if you're about to head out the door, take us with you and keep on watching. Download the News 4 New York app on your mobile device. We're back in two minutes. You're watching Today in New York. This season, get ready for the event you don't want to miss. It's the Season of Audi sales event. Brighten up your holiday with the exceptional offers at the Season of Audi sales event. Hey, guys. <laughs> we got you something for being a carpool driver. Happy holidays. Wow. Thanks. I can totally use this. WeatherTech floor liners are the ultimate way to protect your vehicle, front, back, and even up the sides. Order the perfect holiday gift today at WeatherTech.com, the ultimate protection for your vehicle. Welcome to your new home. Surprise! Let's go, the baby's coming. Honey, your shoes are here. Life happens at your doorstep. Be dressed for the occasion. Zappos.com. This season, get ready for the event you don't want to miss. Hang on to your antlers. It's the Season of Audi sales event. Brighten up your holiday with the exceptional offers at the Season of Audi sales event. Right now, we have new information on the driver who police say repeatedly plowed into a Las Vegas crowd on purpose. A New Jersey Boy Scout leader attacked and then trapped by a bear for hours. How three young scouts helped to save his life and how that leader is doing this morning. And the Real Housewife serving time in prison learns that she'll be home for the holidays. Today in New York starts now.
Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning. It is December 21st. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. And I'm Rob Schmidt. Michael Gargiulo, probably still in bed. Hopefully, I right? Hope, so. hope somebody's <laughs> sleeping. Let's check in with Chris Amino. Good morning. Uh, he's out running miles right now. Yeah, he's okay. He's working on it. He's working on it. Meantime, it is a little chilly still this morning in some of the suburbs. Temperatures in the upper 20s, low 30s. It's 28 in Stony Hill, Rhinebeck's 34, LaGrange 29. But then you get towards the coast, it gets milder. 42 in the city, upper 40s. Out across Long Island, down the Jersey Shore, about 41. But a lot of interior New Jersey is in the upper 20s and low 30s as well. The day plan, our plan on clouds thickening up as we go through the day today. There will be a little bit of dim sunshine, we think, uh, during the mid-afternoon, but more clouds than anything else. 51 at noon, forecasting a high milder today at 54 degrees. Almost 601, let's find out about the Monday morning commute. Here's Lawrence Geller. Still pretty quiet out there. We have a couple of problems. We'll head over to the Grand Central Parkway where the ramp is shut down from the eastbound lanes to the Cross Island. That's because of an accident. Then heading over to Newark, we saw that accident out there on Route 21. This is heading southbound after Lafayette Street, so delays still back to 280. So leave yourself some extra time if you're headed that way, and we'll have more weather and traffic coming up on the fours. Lauren, thank you. It's 601 right now, happening right now. Charges expected to be filed against a woman who police say intentionally ran down pedestrians on the Vegas Strip. Police say the woman had her three year old child in the car during the crash last night. Witnesses say the car drove on and off the sidewalk in front of the Paris Hotel hitting dozens of people. At least one person was killed. 37 were hurt. Six are in critical condition. The kids didn't move. They have no idea. They don't even like pay attention. People were running behind the car, chasing the car, and they were not police officers chasing the car. They were just random like, like dudes. They're like, I'm going to help out. And they're like screaming. The driver sped away but was quickly arrested at a nearby hotel. The child in the car wasn't hurt in the crash. Right now, a Boy Scout leader is recovering in the hospital after a bear attack in New Jersey, and he has three young scouts to thank for getting him out of the woods alive. Today in New York's Jen Maxfield is at the, Mor is at the Morristown Medical Center where that scout leader is getting treated. Jen. Good morning, Rob. That's right. The scout leader is being treated here at the Marstown Medical Center for bites and scratches to his head and to his legs after that bear attack. He's lucky to be alive after this cave he went to explore. Those three Boy Scouts turned out to be the same cave that the bear was planning to hibernate in. All this happened yesterday on Sunday at the Split Rock Reservoir in Rockaway Township here in Morris County. Police say the man, 50 year old Christopher Petronino of Booton, had taken three Boy Scouts with him to explore the cave. He went into the cave before the boys and a bear grabbed his leg and dragged him inside where he was mauled. Once the bear awoke, it proceeded to attack the scoutmaster who called out to the three scouts that he was being attacked by a bear and to call 911 and request assistance. So we have the youth yelling out loud and they also have started a fire, possibly for a smoke signal. That is some of the 911 call there. Bleeding from the bear attack, Petronino had to stay in the cave with the bear, curled up in the fetal position for an hour and 20 minutes before that bear finally came out. Again, lured out by those three Boy Scouts who put out some trail mix and built a signal fire. Petronino was then able to direct rescuers to him, and they airlifted him here to Morristown Medical Center. This bear attack comes a little more than a year after the fatal bear attack in West Milford last year. But again, this was an experienced Outdoorsman. He told investigators that he had explored this cave for the last 30 years, and this was the first time he had ever encountered a bear. Now back to you, Rob. And those scouts did their job well. Jen, thank you. Right now, police are looking for two women who robbed a 76-year-old man in the Bronx. Grainy surveillance images show the suspects who attacked the man in the Melrose section Saturday morning. Police say they confronted the victim, then one of them punched him hard enough to knock him to the ground. The suspects then took his wallet, and they ran. 604, time for a check of weather and traffic. Chris, slowly warming up, it looks like. Yeah, the, the yeah. underway. This is a bit of a process for us to get rid of the chill that we had over the course of the weekend, but uh, temperatures today, 50s, getting closer to 60 tomorrow, and then we're into the 60s, and maybe even warmer than that come Thursday. So 20s in the suburbs this morning. This is the last of seeing temperatures in the 20s in the suburbs for several mornings, I think. Clouds will tend to be on the increase as well as we go through the day today, so any sunshine will get taken over by the clouds through time. Back into the 50s, though, this afternoon, wind going southwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. So
We're talking milder, but I don't want you to think it's time for shorts and t-shirts just yet. It's still going to feel a little cool and chilly out there with that breeze. 42 right now in the city, one of the warmer spots because a lot of the suburbs are in the 20s and 30s. But we should get close to 50 at noon and forecasting a high today at 54. Like I said, only the beginning, but we do have some raindrops to dodge this week, too. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's talk commute right this very minute with Lauren. Thanks, Chris. Good morning. Uh, we do have a disabled vehicle out there on the Newark Bay extension just before you get to the bridge here. So delays are starting to build. They do go back past the turnpike. But once you get past this, we'll take a live look at the Holland Tunnel uh, where you'll see on both ramps uh, heading in there that things are moving along nicely. We don't have any delays at any of your Hudson River crossings. If you're getting on the trains, everything looks good as far as major commuter lines and subways. No delays or service changes and alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect today. We'll have more weather and traffic ahead on the fours. OK, thank you so much. Lauren. 605 right now today a Bronx father heads to court to face murder charges and the death of his two month old son. Take a look at this video. Police believe that is Jose Feliciano carrying the body of his infant son in a duffel bag. Investigators say the 51 year old killed his baby back on December 10th inside his Bronx apartment and then buried him 70 miles away. The building superintendent tells News 4 the new father complained about the baby's crying. Authorities are trying to determine what sickened shoppers at a Kohl's department store in Secaucus. The store was evacuated and a hazmat team called in around 9 o'clock last night. Twelve customers and two workers were treated at the scene for respiratory problems. We're told one of them had an asthma attack. Well, the cause is, is still undetermined. We saw no signs of residue, nothing in the area. Our meters didn't detect anything, so we called in Jersey City Hazmat. Officials say an initial investigation shows no sign of a gas leak. One of the Real Housewives of New Jersey will be home for the holidays. Teresa Giudice will be released from a Connecticut prison on Wednesday. She'll then head to her Morris County home to be reunited with her husband and their four daughters. Giudice will have served about a year in prison after she and her husband pleaded guilty to bankruptcy fraud. Her husband, Joe Giudice, is expected to start his prison term in March. The friend and former neighbor of the San Bernardino shooters heads to court today. Enrique Marquez is charged with conspiracy to commit crimes of terrorism and federal weapons charges. Prosecutors say he bought the two assault rifles used by Syed Farouk and his wife Tashfeen Malik in that horrible attack. A House Judiciary Committee says a review of Tashfeen Malik's immigration records found uh, that she was not thoroughly vetted. They say she should have met with immigration officials in order to obtain a fiancé visa, but never did. New this morning, a French newspaper is reporting new details about the man believed to have coordinated last month's terror attacks in Paris. The report claims Abdel Hamid Aboud hid in some bushes next to a highway for four days after the attack. He was killed in a police raid on an apartment outside Paris, in an apartment outside Paris, one day later. Authorities say he was tracked down after police got a tip about his whereabouts. This morning, former pharmaceutical executive Martin Shkreli is telling the Wall Street Journal that he was targeted by authorities. This is his first interview since being arrested for securities fraud. He says the government has been after him because of his much criticized drug price hikes and over-the-top public persona. Shkreli says his behavior has been a bit of an act. He calls the charges against him and injustice. In this morning's CNBC Money Report, the government wants to know what you get for Christmas. CNBC's Landon Dowdy joins us with that story. Landon, good morning. Hey there, Darlene. Well, if you get a drone for Christmas, you're going to have to tell Uncle Sam. The FAA is launching a website today to register unmanned aerial devices of all shapes and sizes. New rules cover drones weighing from half a pound to 55 pounds, so the agency can track down devices that crash or fly into restricted airspace. The Consumer Electronics Association predicts 700,000 and drones will be sold this year. And there's even more shopping to do after Christmas. A survey by American Express finds two thirds of people say they plan to hit stores on December 26th, more than on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Most say it's to take advantage of post holiday sales or to redeem gift cards. Three quarters of consumers also say regifting something is acceptable. Darlene and Rob, the shopping never ends. Yeah, I'll take a regift. Yeah, I don't care. Where it came from. I'll send one your way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, whatever you don't want. Bottles of wine are the best. You know, you can just take that no, and just I'll hand it right this. back keep off. Keep Nobody moving. ever knows. What's wrong with that? All right, Landon. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. All right, time now is 6.09. Before you head out the door, we've got a commuter alert for you. Half of a local bridge is going to be shut down for most of the day. We're going to tell you where and when coming up next. And
a stunning decision made overnight, the ruling that bans FIFA's president from going to the game he loves. And your weather and traffic on the fours. Coming up in four minutes, you're watching Today in New York. The CNBC Money Report is brought to you by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Performance, no matter where, no matter what. The only intelligent all-wheel drive system with enhanced driving performance for all season capability is now available on more models than ever. We only make one thing, BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Lisa BMW X3 xDrive 28 i for $4.89 a month for a limited time only. Seek curiosity, become wonder, and winter become Christmas. The Radio City Christmas Spectacular presented by Chase. Don't wait, get your tickets today. I love New York Giants. Definitely an example of determination. When Kai was diagnosed with leukemia, I was very scared. But like I said, her strength is my strength. Her strength is my strength. Hi, Kaya. My name's Eli. Welcome to the Simply Orange Tour. This is our plant. These are our workers. And this is upper management. But what you won't find around here is any freezing, flavoring, or concentrating. Which brings us to our end product. Simply Orange. Honestly simple. That's just the night watchman. Opportunity has no slow season, no off days or downtime. Opportunity is everything you make of it. This winter, take advantage of our season's best offers on the latest generation of Cadillacs. Current GM lessees can get this low mileage lease on this 2016 ATS from around $269 per month. Visit CadillacTriState.com to locate a dealer near you. On January 4th, discover the comedy that has critics raving. There is too much real estate back here. I'd have to dislocate your shoulder. Do it. Superstore premieres Monday, January 4th on NBC and stream the first three episodes now. Sure, you can work toward losing weight at the gym or you can take a luxury vacation and quit. Hmm, Temptation. The Biggest Loser Temptation Nation premieres Monday, January 4th on NBC. Have a tip for New York's biggest I-team? Call 866-NEWS-244 or email tips at NBCNewYork.com. Welcome back. 613, 42 degrees out right now. Here are four things to know this morning. We're waiting to learn the name of the driver who plowed into groups of pedestrians on the Vegas Strip. One person was killed. Dozens were injured. Police say the female driver intentionally swerved her vehicle into the crowd multiple times with a toddler inside the vehicle at the time. If you're taking the Verrazano Bridge today, you may be in for some traffic headaches. The upper level Staten Island bound lanes of the bridge are expected to close from 8.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. today for paving work. One upper level lane will reopen at 10 a.m. to accommodate some of that Belt Parkway traffic. While you were sleeping, there was a stunning takedown of the most powerful leaders in the world of soccer. FIFA president Seth Platter and his protege, Michel Platini, were each banned from the sport for eight years over an ethics violation involving a $2 million of FIFA money. Mm. And today is the busiest delivery day for the U.S. Postal Service. They expect to deliver more than 15 billion pieces of holiday mail and packages. Uh, that is up more than 10% from last year, 15 billion, I should say, this year. 
I want to see them do it in one day. That's what I know. Uh, we're talking about temperatures, though, for our male men, male women. Uh, temperatures mild again for the rest of this week right through the Christmas holiday. So, again, after that little brief chill down this weekend, we're right back at it to above normal temperatures. Clouds are rolling in today, though. They'll thicken up a little bit. Some on and off midweek rain. Yes, we do need some of that, too. And it should be out of here by Christmas Day. Warm, though, for the holiday. We're talking perhaps record setter on Christmas Eve. So the clouds are rolling in, but the temperatures are getting milder. 41 is our normal high temperature for this time of year. We'll make get to 54 this afternoon and that's only the beginning of where we're heading this week in terms of temperatures compared to 24 hours ago at this time you can see from the city on east coastal areas anywhere from 6 to as much as 16 degrees warmer this morning than it was yesterday morning at this time but yet in some of the suburbs north and west couple of pockets that are actually a little bit chillier where the sky stayed clear and uh, temperatures are down in the upper 20s but right now we're in the low 40s in the city Chelsea 41 City Island 42 Diker Heights same number 42 upper 40s 50 how about that out of Montauk right now and while it's 50 in Montauk, it's as chilly as 26 in Danbury, 27 in Bridgewater, and right at the freezing mark in Sussex. So a pretty big range in temperature from city to suburbs and coastal areas to inland spots. A lot of clouds, yes, these are high, thin clouds, nothing really that produces any type of precipitation. Here's your rain out to the west of us, but notice no snow even all the way out west. It's plenty mild. A lot of clouds around today. We'll get some dim sunshine at times, especially early in the day. We'll look for high temperature, though, of 54. So the clouds increase, the chilliness decreases through the day. It starts to feel a lot better. And you can see on Future Tracker, that's pretty much how it plays out. A lot of clouds, no rain, right into the evening hours, too. And then overnight tonight, you'll see a quick hit of showers right there. Just go to the north and west of us. Tomorrow during the day, plenty of clouds. Again, a few showers. They'll be scattered around the area, some light rain here or there. I don't think anything too heavy tomorrow, either. We'll get a little break in the action tomorrow night into Wednesday. But then Wednesday afternoon, you'll notice another... Area of low pressure brings another shot of rain our way. One in the afternoon, another one in the evening hours. That looks like the day we'll probably see the most significant rain and the longest period of rain. Thursday itself, just a couple of showers expected. So speaking of Thursday, Christmas Eve, record warmth possible. If we get any breaks of sun at all, we could see 70, certainly upper 60s, and then still toasty for Christmas Day. It looks to be rain-free, at least, though, with a high of 61. And then as you head on into the weekend, a lot of folks still doing some traveling and visiting and whatnot. Saturday and Sunday, we'll see clouds and a couple of showers and temperatures in the mid-50s. She's the queen of whatnot herself. Here's oh. Lauren Scala with the latest on the news. Whatnot. That is a first. Thank you, Chris, I think. Uh, <laughs> we have a couple of problems out there on the roads. We have Reggie Harrison live in Chopper 4 right now over an accident uh, that's shutting down the eastbound ramp from the Grand Central Parkway to the Cross Island. It looks like it's in the process of being cleared. You can see the car out there on the flatbed, but Reggie tells me there are westbound delays, so if you could show them to us, Reggie, uh, getting into this area due to rubbernecking westbound on the Grand Central Parkway. So that's out by the Cross Island. Maybe head to the LIE instead. That's moving along uh, much better in this area. So that is the way to go. You can also see some delays out there uh, heading northbound on the Cross Island as well. We will take a look now at some more delays out there. These are in New Jersey. This is the Turnpike extension heading eastbound uh, towards the Holland Tunnel. We have pretty heavy delays out there. That's all because of a disabled vehicle blocking the right lane on the Newark Bay Extension Bridge. So uh, another spot to avoid. And then if you're taking the trains, we do have our first delay of the morning. Delays on downtown B trains. That's all due to signal problems. Major commuter lines look pretty good. Uh, we're starting to see some scattered delays on the northeast corridor of New Jersey Transit. This is because the portal bridge is open, so hopefully that will get wrapped up soon. Uh, but otherwise, everything's running on or close to schedule. We'll have more weather and traffic ahead on the fours. Lauren, thank you. 618 right now. The families of two murdered police officers are still grieving while the city marked one year since their murders. <laughs> Officer Wen Jen Liu's father spoke tearfully in his native Cantonese. The family of Officer Rafael Ramos was also at Brooklyn's 84th Precinct. That's where plaques were dedicated yesterday in that officer's honor. Both men were fatally shot in their patrol car. I would give anything to see, see him and hear his voice again. True Detectives Liu and Ramos, I say, we see you. We see you in the faces of your families. Wreaths were laid at the scene of the ambush in Bedford-Stuyvesant. The killer committed suicide after gunning down the officers. Right now, there is a new reward for a North Texas teen who killed four people while driving drunk. Ethan Couch was given probation for this deadly crash back in 2013. His attorneys argued that he was so spoiled by his family's wealth that he couldn't tell right from wrong. Well, Couch and his mother disappeared nine days ago, and police think this video that appears to show the teen playing beer pong may have led them to go on the run as drinking alcohol is a violation of his probation.
Right now, rescue workers in China are digging into a muddy disaster for any buried survivors. We have new video now from Shenzhen that's near Hong Kong. Families are waiting for word of 91 people lost. So far, only seven people were pulled alive from the mudslide that destroyed 33 buildings. The whole thing is being blamed on workers who piled some soil too high during construction. And we're told six passengers are being questioned over that bomb hoax that forced an Air France jet to make an emergency landing. The Mauritius to Paris flight was diverted yesterday to Mombasa in Kenya. That's where 473 people scrambled down exit slides. During that flight, a passenger reported a box with a timer hidden in the bathroom. Air France says the box was harmless and it was filled with paper and cardboard. Well, gas prices have fallen to levels not seen in more than five years. According to the latest Lundberg survey, the average price of gas is now $2.06 per gallon nationwide. That is so cheap. That is the lowest price since April of 2009. According to AAA's fuel gauge report, drivers in New York paying a bit more than that, $2.26 a gallon. In Connecticut, $2.18. And prices the lowest, of course, with less taxes in New Jersey, $1.88 per gallon. Always cheaper in New Jersey. I love that. Yeah. All right. All right, time check now 621. We knew it was going to be big, but Star Wars destroyed box office records this weekend. The staggering record breaking numbers are still ahead. That's not okay. They can't do that. Somebody's got to do something. We're on it. Contact the I team on News for New York. Tuesday at 6. Alleged elder abuse caught on camera. And there she goes with the fist again. The I-Team investigates how this home attendant still obtained a license after this video was revealed. More investigations, more answers. Tuesday at 6. Smooth, rich McCafe coffee. Try any size for just a dollar. think he gets around so fast. Take the reins this holiday and get the Mercedes-Benz you've always wanted during the winter event. Now lease the 2015 GLA 250 for $329 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Life's brighter. Life's chiller. Life's splashier. Life's zoomier. Life's grander. Life's bolder. Life's livelier. Life's greater in the Pocono Mountains. And it's about to get even better with the arrival of Kalahari Resorts and Conventions. Book your family escape at kalahariresorts.com. My name is Effie Hematia. I am a designer. Everything to me is about quality. I am a perfectionist. That's my promise to you. When the customer put the pieces on, they don't want to take it off. Come into Macy's to see the Effie collections. Like these gemstone and diamond rings, your choice, $9.99. A one carat total weight diamond ring, now $11.99. Or these tanzanite and diamond earrings, $2.99. Effie at the jewelry store at Macy's. Finding the right gift hasn't always been easy for me. Car mats. But last year, I nailed it. Hand in stone spa gift cards. Everybody loves getting the luxury spa experience. And I like the price. My wife got a massage, mom got a facial, even dad got a uh, peppermint scalp massage. It's the gift that makes me feel great. Which makes me look pretty good. Now save on hand and stone gift cards and spa gift packages. The gift they'll love at a price you'll love even more. No way. Savor an Egg McMuffin anytime you like. A fresh cracked egg, Canadian bacon, and an English muffin with real butter. McDonald's all-day breakfast menu. Today's traffic report is brought to you by the Jeep Year and Blockbuster sales event going on now. With great power comes legendary capability. Get a low mileage lease on the 2016 Jeep Cherokee Latitude 4x4 for $199 a month for well-qualified lessees of competitive vehicles.
Welcome back, 624. It is Monday morning. Yes, start of the week, yeah. right? But this is a big week, guys. Yes, and it's a short week for a lot of folks, yeah, actually. Right. So technically, for some folks, this is Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> and I'm one of those folks. <laughs> I know. For I'm you, one yeah. of these midweek start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but a lot of folks, obviously, I would think at least to have a Thursday off or Friday, hopefully both. 54 today, so it is tending milder over the weekend. We were closer to 40 for high, so notice more clouds in the sky today, but no rain to worry about. Clouds tonight, maybe a couple of spotty showers after midnight. Not a big deal. I think the evening's fine. Look at that low temperature again, 51. That would be 10 degrees above the normal high temperature for this time of year. So that's just the beginning. We're going 50s and then 60s this week again. I'm glad it's your Wednesday. I think I'm working the next 12 days in a row. So this uh, is, this is my get that first of like six out, Mondays. Uh, yeah, I, this, I was looking for it. Uh, <laughs> email my boss yeah. if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh, they're going to email all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we get I'm emails. With you. I'm with you. Yeah, You'll right? see me a lot in the next two weeks as well. Uh, anyway, if you're headed towards the George Washington Bridge, not good news from there right now. We're going to take a live look. Uh, inbound lower level it looks like a parking lot out there. That's because there's a disabled vehicle uh, about mid span blocking the right lane, but it's really causing a pretty heavy delay. So the upper level is the way to go. You can see just kind of minor there getting into the tolls. Then we also have a problem now on the cross island. We had the eastbound ramp from the Grand Central Parkway closed. That is reopened, but now there's a disabled truck out there, a really unauthorized truck on the cross island northbound after the Grand Central causing delays. All right, Laura, thanks. All right, 626 right now. Coming up next, a tragic death in the Bronx. I'm Lori Bordnero, live in the Bronx, where a new father is facing murder charges for killing his son, how police say he tried to cover it up. A Boy Scout leader has survived a bear attack in New Jersey. I'm Jen Maxfield, live at Morristown Medical Center. Coming up, we'll tell you how a cave exploration almost turned deadly. And if you're about to head out the door, take us with you and keep watching Today in New York. Download the News 4 New York app on your mobile device. We'll be right back. Today's weather is brought to you by McDonald's. Stop into McDonald's for any size hot McCafe coffee for just $1. McDonald's, I'm loving it. The Lexus December to Remember sales event is here. Lease the 2016 IS 300 all-wheel drive for $349 a month for 36 months and we'll make your first month's payment. See your Lexus dealer. This year, Elf, one of the funniest and very bestest holiday hits ever, is coming to town as a big jolly musical. The New York Times says Elf is splashy, peppy, sugar-sprinkled holiday entertainment. But the holiday cheer is only here for a limited time. So embrace your inner Elf and bring somebody you love. Now to December 27th at the theater at Madison Square Garden. Spend less time chasing sales and more time going the extra mile. Find thoughtful gifts at amazing prices every day at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. Now you're free to start enjoying the breakfast you love anytime you wish. No way. Introducing McDonald's new all day breakfast menu. Once, you changed how you ate breakfast. It's time to start changing when. Kids don't stay little forever, so help them get the opportunity they need. It's never too early or too late to save for college. You can open a New York 529 account with just $25, and you may get tax benefits if you pay income tax in New York State. Someday, you'll look back and be glad you got started. New York's 529 College Savings Program. The right time is right now. So Santa has a transporter? For the big stuff. Cool. The Lexus December to Remember sales event is here. Lease the 2015 NX200 Turbo for $369 a month for 36 months, and we'll make your first month's payment. See you at Lexus dealer. Funding research is the key to tackling kids' cancer. Find out how you can team up with NBC4 and me at TackleKidsCancer.org. A Boy Scout leader attacked and cornered by a bear in New Jersey. How he's doing right now and how three young scouts may have saved his life. A father accused of doing the unthinkable. The charges he's now facing over what happened to his child. Plus dozens of people mowed down on the Vegas Strip. Investigators say it was no accident. Today in New York starts now.
Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning. It is December 21st. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. And I'm Rob Schmidt in for Michael Gargiulo. Yeah, nice to see you, Rob. Chris is here this morning with the weather picture for us. Not bad, Mr. Semino. Not mm -mm. bad at all, Darlene. And Rob, we're talking about temperatures in the low 40s already this morning, and that is a little bit warmer than it's been in the past couple of mornings. Some of the suburbs still feeling a bit chilly. We're talking Poughkeepsie and Newburgh and Danbury still in the 20s. Sussex right at the freezing mark. Good portion of central New Jersey 20s. But notice Long Island in the upper 40s. Southwest wind here, and we're getting some clouds on the increase, too. So the day planner will lose our sunshine today, and we'll shake some of the chill, though, along with that. We'll have a little bit of a milder feel by noon, about 51, and we're forecasting a high of 54. This is just the beginning, though, of another warming trend. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's get over to Lawrence Gallon. Monday morning commute, is it tough or pretty okay? It's pretty okay, except if you're heading to two of the Hudson River crossings, but there are ways around it. Uh, right now, we do have a disabled vehicle still out there on the Turnpike extension just before the bridge. We'll show you the delays there. Uh, you could see pretty heavy. It's both on the turnpike and backed up onto 78. Then heading over to the George Washington Bridge, you're going to see the spans here. Uh, we had a disabled vehicle just cleared, I guess. It was on the inbound lower level, so delays should ease out. Heading into the tolls, it was about a 10 minute wait, so it looks like things are moving along nicely. So head to Truck Route 1 and 9 if you need to go to the Holland right now. That's your best bet. We'll have more weather and traffic coming up on the force. All right, thanks so much, Lauren. 631 right now. The Bronx father accused of killing his infant son is in the hospital this morning. It's not clear. How, now, if he will face a judge today, as expected, today in New York's Lori Bordenaro's in Bronx Criminal Court. Lori, what's happening? Yeah, and Darlene, Jose Feliciano is facing murder and manslaughter charges. Police say that he choked and smothered his newborn son inside his Bronx apartment and then buried him in a shallow grave in Dutchess County. Take a look here at this video, and this is what who police say is Jose Feliciano carrying the body of his two-month-old dead baby in a duffel bag. Now, the motive for the killing is not clear, but his building superintendent tells News 4 that the new dad complained about the baby's constant crying. Uh, this photo here on Social media shows a different picture, a smiling Feliciano with his girlfriend and baby Mason in the hospital. Uh, the baby's mom, Danielle White, allegedly drove with her boyfriend to dump the body near a hotel in Dover, New York. She told her doctor in White Plains, who then told police uh, Feliciano was a pizza delivery man, and his co workers are stunned and sickened over what happened. It's very devastating to, to, to actually, I, I'm a mom of a 10 year old, and it's very devastating. And Jose Feliciano is at Jacoby Medical Center right now. Again, it is not clear why he was taken there last night. Uh, he is under observation, and he is expected uh, to face a judge at some point. His girlfriend has not been arrested. Robin Darlene, back to you. All right, Lori, thank you. Happening now, charges expected to be filed against a woman who police say intentionally ran down pedestrians on the Vegas Strip. Police say this woman had her three-year-old child in the car during the crash last night. Witnesses say the car drove on and off the sidewalk right in front of the Paris Hotel and Casino, hitting dozens of people. At least one person was killed, 37 were hurt, six of them are in critical condition. Suddenly saw like people fly in the air, so because the car hit them and it was like a, like a bowling ball hitting pins. That's terrifying. The driver sped away but was quickly arrested at a nearby hotel. The child in the car was not hurt. This morning, the commute is safer for passengers on one of Amtrak's busiest routes, thanks to a new safety system that's up and running on the route from New York to Philadelphia. The positive train control system warns engineers when the train's traveling above the speed limit and can automatically apply the brakes. Amtrak is complying with federal orders to install the safety improvement following last May's deadly train derailment near Philadelphia. All right, time now for weather and traffic on the fours. Chris Amino is here, and I think we all appreciate how spoiled we've been Absolutely. so far yeah. this year. It's and 42 degrees. Incredible, and we get more spoiled again this week. Winter, by the way, remember that? It officially arrives at 1147 tonight, but it's not going to feel anything like it. And in fact, the first few days of winter, even warmer weather heading our way. It still feels a little wintry this morning in the suburbs with at least temperatures in the 20s there. Kind of a carryover from that quick shot of cold air we had this weekend. But clouds will be on the increase today, taking away our sunshine. It heads back into the 50s this afternoon as the wind goes southwest. The wind will be a little busy at times, 10 to 15 miles an hour and gusty. So the temperatures in the low 50s, while that sounds good with the wind and limited sunshine, not going to feel all that warm just yet. But you'll start to see those temperatures in, uh, really rise during the rest of this week. But 54 the high today, no umbrellas needed, just a few clouds around. 7 day forecast just ahead. It's almost 635 heading out the door. What about the commute, Lauren? Oh, big changes right now for NJ Transit. 30 minute delays are up to 30 minute delays in and out of New York Penn State.
station. This is all because of a portal bridge failure. Uh, so I will continue to keep you updated on that. Hopefully it will get better, not worse. Metro North LIRR path doing fine. Uh, subways one delay. B trains right now delayed downtown because of some signal problems. And we have delays on the roads. We're going to take a live look outside of the Gowanus Expressway where it's a slow ride past the belt merge up through Industry City. Uh, we do have reports of an accident out there by the Prospect Expressway. So again, leave yourself some time there. And alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect today. We'll have more weather and traffic ahead on the fours. Okay, thanks so much, Lauren. Right now, Boy Scout leaders in the hospital recovering from a terrifying bear attack. And investigators say the three young scouts he had with him helped save his life. Today in New York's Jen Maxfield is at the Morristown Medical Center where he is receiving treatment right now. Jen. That's right, Darlene, you use the word terrifying, and that's certainly the case. This man had to wait in the cave for an hour and 20 minutes before the bear finally left so he could get some help. As you said, he's being treated here at the Morristown Medical Center for cuts and scratches and bite marks to his head and his legs. He went to explore a cave, the same cave that a bear apparently was planning to hibernate in. All this happened yesterday at the Split Rock Reservoir in Rockaway Township here in Morris County. Police say the man, 50-year-old Christopher Petronino Abutin had taken three Boy Scouts with him to explore the cave. He went into the cave before the boys and a bear grabbed his leg and dragged him inside where he was mauled. Bleeding from the bear attack, Petronino had to stay in the cave, curled up in the fetal position for an hour and 20 minutes before the bear finally came out, lured out by the Boy Scouts trail mix and a signal fire they had built. The Scouts built a signal fire that they also used to smoke from the signal fire to drive the bear out of the cave, which eventually worked, resulting in the bear exiting the cave and enabling their scoutmaster to extricate himself from the bear's den. Petronino was then able to direct rescuers to where they were. He was airlifted here to Morristown Medical Center. New Jersey had a bear hunt which just wrapped up. The point of that was to reduce these human bear encounters. More than 500 bears were killed. But again, the victim here is an experienced outdoorsman who said he'd been exploring this particular cave for 30 years and had never once before seen a bear there. That's the latest mm. live from Morristown. Now back to you, Darlene. And those Boy Scouts acting so quickly as well. Jen Maxfield, Jen, thank you. Thank you. Well, tens of thousands of New Yorkers may soon be able to put their criminal records behind them. Governor Cuomo has unveiled a new plan that would make anyone convicted of a nonviolent crime as a teenager eligible for a pardon as long as they have spent at least 10 years without any other convictions. Administration officials tell the New York Times the pardons will not clear a person's criminal record, but it will make them eligible for more employment and housing opportunities. An entire school district in New Hampshire will be closed today due to a threat of violence. Police say a school administrator in Nashua received an email last night threatening two high schools. Authorities decided to keep all schools in the city closed as a precaution. And investigators are now trying to determine if the threat is credible. This comes less than a week after an email threat shut down schools in Los Angeles. A similar threat received here in New York was deemed a hoax and did not disrupt classes. Senator Chuck Schumer now backs anti-terror legislation that would allow federal agents to examine social media. Schumer said he will press for Senate passage of a bill that cleared the House last week. Schumer says there is nothing wrong with scanning Twitter or Facebook for talk of jihad, shootings or bombings. He said agents need new tools in the wake of the San Bernardino shootings. Federal government must make sure that we're on the cutting edge when it comes to how we decipher, disrupt, and decode social media communications. It was recently revealed that immigration officers do not look at Facebook postings because of civil liberty concerns. New drone rules go into effect today. Unmanned aircraft systems weighing up to 55 pounds must be registered with the Federal Aviation Administration no later than February 19th. For anyone who purchases a drone after today, it must be registered before its first flight outdoors. The Consumer Electronics Association predicts 700,000 drones will be sold this year. Six months after an explosive rocket launch, SpaceX is hoping for success tonight. The Falcon 9 rocket was supposed to launch yesterday afternoon, but engineers decided to wait. The extra time gives the liquid oxygen inside this rocket more time to chill. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the delay improves the rocket's success rate by 10 percent. Right there, the last rocket launch back in June ended in that explosion. As you might expect, the force was with the latest Star Wars film at the box office. The dark side.
The latest installment of the epic space franchise shattered movie opening record Star Wars The Force Awakens brought in an astronomical $238 million this weekend. That is the biggest North American debut of all time. $30 million more than the record set by this summer by Jurassic World. Be nice to have a back-end deal on that one. <laughs> $238 million. That'd be okay. That'd They've be done right. well, those people Retired. making that movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> 640 coming up. The former shock jock facing some very serious charges this morning. And the major mistake at the Miss Universe pageant that had everyone, and we still are, cringing. And your weather and traffic on the fours coming up. You're watching Today in New York. You can't miss What's Hot Now. Then there's no telling what they might say either. It's our What's Hot Now Kids Holiday Edition. Plus, Anna Gasteyer channels her inner Martha Stewart and makes cupcakes. Next, Meredith the Hour Show. Today at 2 on NBC for New York. Next, Steve Harvey. Oh, what fun it is. A Harvey Family Holiday Edition. Sweet treats. Cinnamon bun waffles. <laughs> and favorite Harvey traditions. Plus the best holiday gifts for men. Today at 3 on NBC for New York. This season, get ready for the event you don't want to miss. It's the Season of Audi sales event. Brighten up your holiday with the exceptional offers at the Season of Audi sales event. Hampton, we go together. Always get the lowest price, only when you book direct at Hampton.com. I wanted to ask you a question. How does the orchestra feel about me? They think that they love you. Do you think that you love the orchestra? Today I'll show you my Mexico. Mexico was a fantasy. It wasn't all a fantasy. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what I'm talking about. I don't think you are, because we never talk about what we're talking about. Stream Mozart in the Jungle with your Prime membership. Not a member? Start your free trial at Amazon.com. Why let someone else have all the fun? Yeah. The sometimes haphazard, never boring, fun. The why can't it smell like this all the time, fun. What did we do yesterday? The learning the virtue of sharing, fun. Why let someone else have all the fun? That's no fun. Whoa, good, hey? Unleash the power of dough. Give it a pop. This season, get ready for the event you don't want to miss. Hang on to your antlers. It's the Season of Audi sales event. Brighten up your holiday with the exceptional offers at the Season of Audi sales event. What a beautiful shot. Live look from the top of the rock. 42 degrees outside at 643. Not so bad of a morning. Great weather. On Long Island, a former co-host of the Opie and Anthony radio show is facing charges that include assault and strangulation. Anthony Cumia was arrested Saturday morning following an alleged fight with a 26-year-old woman in his home in Roslyn Heights. Cumia pleaded not guilty and was released without bail. He is due back in court in two weeks. His attorney sent us a statement that reads in part, Mr. Cumia emphatically denies the allegations brought against him and is optimistic that when the truth comes out, he will be exonerated. Things are not always what they appear to be. All right, 644 on a Monday morning. We've got some clouds rolling in, but we've got some warmer temperatures also heading our way for today. So we'll see any early sunshine fade behind the cloud cover. Milder temps into the 50s we go. Middle of this week, especially some on and off rain, but we do need a little bit of rainfall and it should be out of here in time for Christmas Day, but it's really going to be quite warm for the holidays. In fact, on Thursday, Christmas Eve day, we could set a record high, and I'll get to that in just a second. Out across western Suffolk County this morning, 50 in North Babylon, 45 Melville, 45 Farmingville, 46 Sayville, pretty mild out there. The southwest wind coming in off the water. Water temperatures are still relatively mild in the 40s to near 50. 42 in the city right now. Then you get away from the water and inland spots chilly. You're 27 in Bridgewater. It's 28 Poughkeepsie, Newburgh, Danbury, also 26 degrees. So notice a 20 degree difference from Danbury to Bridgeport. Again, the wind off the water in Bridgeport. School day forecast, a lot of clouds around for 
for today. Chilly at the bus stops, really about 43 in the city, 30s in the suburbs, about 49 recess time, dismissal time, 54, a little milder out there, and it's cloudy and mild for any after school activities, about 53 degrees, but no rain to worry about. Nearest rain is out across Ohio right now in Indiana. That's cold front. We've got a warm front first pushing towards us. A lot of cloud cover with it, but that's really about it. Uh, not much in terms of rain expected today or tonight. There could be a couple of showers overnight. You can see on Future Tracker a lot of clouds around today. Occasionally the clouds thin out, so there might be a little bit of uh, dim sunshine out there. But then a couple of showers. Notice late tonight, right there, just to the north of us, passing on through. During the day tomorrow, on and off lighter showers, kind of hit or miss. Nothing really too heavy anticipated. A break in the action tomorrow night even into early Wednesday morning. But then the best chance for rain or the steadiest or heaviest type of shower activity I think comes Wednesday afternoon. There's one push and then Wednesday evening there's the second one. And uh, that will probably be about it other than a couple of scattered showers around on Thursday. 54 the expected high for today though in the city. 51 large spot much of Long Island in the mid 50s upper 50s down the Jersey Shore and closer to 50 north and west. Tonight's low in the city 50 degrees. Look for about 50 in Hop Hog as well and then mid 40 should do it up into the Hudson Valley, lower 40s elsewhere. But the seven day forecast, what we're dealing with really is a continuous, unseasonably warm weather trend right for the end of December and probably looks like into the new year too. 60 Wednesday, 70 Thursday, a record is 63, 61 on Christmas Day and dry and into the 50s with a few showers come Saturday and Sunday. Over to Lawrence Scala we go. Let's find out about the latest on the commute. Thanks, Chris. Good morning. New Jersey transit riders, uh, you're subject to 30 minute delays in and out of New York Penn Station. This is all because of a, the portal bridge uh, failure out there. So these delays are not getting any better, but they're not getting any worse. And I'll continue to keep you posted. Metro North, LAWR, Path, Subways, all doing fine. Uh, we will talk about the roads now. We have two problems on the cross island. You have a disabled vehicle northbound by Northern Boulevard, and then another one southbound by the Grand Central Parkway. So watch out for delays in both directions here. Uh, then we will head over to 78 where this disabled vehicle actually just cleared eastbound before the Newark Bay Extension Bridge. So delays are starting to ease out a bit, but it's still pretty heavy out there. And we'll take a live look at the inbound side of the Lincoln Tunnel where you have a 20 minute wait inbound right now. 15 at the George, about 10 minutes at the Holland Tunnel. Make sure you move your car today. Alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect. Back to you, Darlene and Rob. All right. Thanks so much, Lauren. This morning, the world is reacting to an unprecedented blunder at the Miss Universe pageant. Well, host Steve Harvey announced the winner as Miss Columbia. After she took the crown, though, and began her walk as Miss Universe, Harvey came back to the stage and said that he had made a mistake. I have to apologize. The first runner-up is Columbia. I will take responsibility for this. It was my mistake. It was on the car. Oh, Miss Philippines, she was confused. She was in shock when she realized that she had actually won the crown. Miss Columbia's crown was then removed and given to the winner. After the pageant, both ladies talked about what happened. It's a very um, uh, non-traditional crowning moment, yes. isn't it? Yes. It's very, very oh 2015. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, so I'm happy. I'm happy for all what I did for for becoming this this dream. Well, Steve Harvey took his response to Facebook. He said, in part, I know how much pride many countries, fans, and most importantly, the contestants take in preparing for this night. I hope that you can forgive me. Well, the Today Show will have more on the pageant mistake. That's starting ahead at 7 a.m. It's so heartbreaking, really, for everyone involved. Um, I think yeah. Miss Columbia really handled it with a lot of grace, yeah. as did Miss Philippines. And, you know, Steve Harvey, I like Steve Harvey. And he, and he owned it. Steve he says, Harvey. you know, hey, you know, it was on the card. I screwed up. You know what? They, the way they do it, though, they say they pick this big thing, and then they announce the first runner up. That's, that messes with people. I think I it screwed think him up, so. too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't envy that position that he was mm -hmm. in. No. All right, we'll be right back. Today's traffic report is brought to you by the Jeep Year and Blockbuster sales event going on now. With great power comes legendary capability. Get a low mileage lease on the 2016 Jeep Cherokee Latitude 4x4 for $199 a month for well qualified lessees of competitive vehicles. Hurricane Patricia. Hit by our denier eat in Manzanillo, Mexico on October 23rd. Yeah, but no major damage was done. And as you can see, everything is exactly as it should be. So Mexico invited the good Patricias to come. A lot of good Patricias. What do you think 
names the hurricanes anyway. The holiday season is here and it's time to celebrate. With the best savings of the year, we're making this holiday we're gonna get jolly. the happiest of holidays. Drive home in the all-new 2016 Tucson for an incredible $199 a month for 36 months. Visit the Hyundai Holiday Sales Event today. All this week, today has 100 ways to make your holiday season happy. How to cook for a crowd. Your family survival guide. Awesome last-minute gifts. Tis the season of joy, and today is bringing it home. This is the one place we're not afraid to fail. Some of these experiments may not work, but a few might shape the future, like turning algae into biofuel, new technology for capturing CO2 emissions, and cars twice as efficient as the average car today. Ideas ExxonMobil scientists are working on to make energy go further, no matter how many tries it takes. Energy lives here. Now you're free to start enjoying the breakfast you love anytime you wish. No way. Introducing McDonald's new all-day breakfast menu. Once you changed how you ate breakfast, it's time to start changing when. And welcome back. A live look at the uh, entrance ramp to the Brooklyn Bridge at 42 degrees and 652 this morning. Traffic not too bad. Not at all. Yeah. All right. The Today Show is coming up in a few minutes. We'll check in right now with Matt and Hoda. See what's ahead. Hey, hey girl. <laughs> How are you? Guys, good to see you both. Got plenty of more hangs coming up throughout the week. Got a lot to talk about this morning. Terrible story out of Las Vegas where a woman with a toddler in her vehicle repeatedly plowed into pedestrians on the strip last night, killing one person, injuring dozens. Why police are calling this an intentional act. Plus, feuding frontrunners, Donald Trump fires back after Hillary Clinton Coming calls him ISIS's, ISIS's best, best recruiter during Saturday's Democratic to debate. We're going to hear from Trump live today. And, I'm sorry. And then he's going to stick around and weigh in on this Miss Ooh. Universe snafu, making the rounds online. You guys have been talking about it, the fallout after pageant host Steve Harvey crowned the wrong winner. Mr. Trump already tweeting this morning, very sad what happened last night at the Miss Universe pageant. I sold it six months ago for a record price. This would never have happened. Wow. All right, and we're going to have last minute <laughs> gift ideas for everyone on your list. All of that and a lot more when we get started on today. That was hard to watch, you guys, wasn't it? No, I mean, I think yeah. we're still cringing as we watch it over and over again. Yeah. I think the worst moment as a viewer was when they had to take the crown off oh, of Miss yeah. Columbia's yeah. head in front of everyone. Well, also, you know, we do all of us live television, and we know what it feels like at a moment like that. There mm -hmm. is nowhere to hide. No. Yeah. And I think to... Steve handled it well, don't you? Yeah. There was a minute where yeah. I thought he had the flight or flight, fight or flight <laughs> thing going, like he was going to run. He's but just, he's he just got to own it, and that's yeah. it. It wasn't, yeah, he handled it as well as he could. All, all right, right, guys. We'll see you. Have a great show, guys. See you. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with today's top stories and a check of weather and traffic. This holiday, Ford, America's best-selling brand, is giving you more. The Ford Holiday Sales Event with big savings. It's the best gift ever. Get a 2016 Fusion with 0% financing for 60 months, plus $1,000 bonus cash, or lease for just $139 a month. 